Parish. Tonight, for the first time, we hear from an insider, Whitney's goddaughter, about the woman she shared so much of her life with. Let's go in depth. You talked to Whitney on the day she passed away. What was Whitney's mindset on the day she died? Whitney was very happy. She was talking to me about makeup. I set her up with a really good makeup artist, and she was like, Mommy has to take a nap. And I said, no, 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 he needs to be there at 530. She said, no, no, six is fine. She said, six is fine, one is taking a nap. And I said, no, nope, 530. So she said, 545. So I said, okay. She said, just make sure he's here. She said, check on Jay, because he was coming over. And I said, okay. She said, okay, baby. And she said, all right, love you. She hung up. Singer Whitney Houston is dead. Whitney's goddaughter, Brandy Burnside Boyd, revealing to me what was on Whitney's mind the day she passed away and what her godmother had planned for the future. She said, you and Max, my, my husband, me and Jay, Bobby Chrissy, my brother, my sister, and Uncle Ray, she said, Uncle Ray, are going to go to Israel. We need to get into the holy water so that nothing can harm us and touch us for our new journey. Whitney was baptized in the Holy Land back in 2003 with husband Bobby Brown and daughter Bobby Christina by her side. It was all captured by... From CBS 2 News, this is Breaking News. Hi. Good evening, everyone. I'm Christine Johnson in the CBS 2 Newsroom. We're interrupting the insider right you now. See that? You some see that, people? News from Newark Airport. A United Airlines plane has made an emergency landing there. The pilot reporting smoke. Chopper 2 is oh, over the scene. You can clearly see the large emergency Yo, response people, on you the see ground. It? Well, oh, you don't tell see you that it. The airport is closed as a result of this. Jim Smith is over the scene. Jim, tell us what you see. Well, Christine, as you can see, that is the airplane, a United Airlines flight uh, here at Newark Airport. It's difficult to tell from our vantage point whether the plane came to a rest on the runway or the taxiway. It does appear that the nose Yo, you see that, people? You see that, people? Yo, yo, that is, that is, that is just more proof. You see that? You see that? We just recorded the intro that hopefully you'll check out the first part of this. And then when they're talking about how Whitney and the family was going to go to Israel for spiritual protection. We're going to connect with our Israelite and Hebrew brothers and sisters in the homeland. Bring the family there. Baptize everybody. to Protect them from this Satanistic and Antichrist conspiracy against we, the lost sheep of the Beit Israel. Do you see it? While watching it. You know, we was more concerned about maybe somebody might call and the phone might go off or the recording might go off. But no, they interrupt it. You see it live. They interrupted the, the, the um, insider report. You understand? Very important. <laughs> We're going to try to find it on the Internet or online and hopefully in other states. This is New York, New York. You know, Babylon is fallen. Babylon is fallen, is fallen. This is... Where is, yo, yo, was, and see, when we pointed that out, some of y'all need to go back to that original posting where we made the connection with Whitney and Bobby and the Ben Army, Ben Israel community of African, African Israelites or black Jews or black Hebrews, so forth and so on. You understand? Now they're talking about the JFK Something happened, they're closing down JFK. I mean, I mean what, what is the, the likelihood that this is all um, um, coincidence or coinky-dinky or really COINTELPRO? You understand? Which one is it? Brothers and sisters, stay in tune. You know, keep up with chanting your psalms, your prayers, and fellowship, bros, and, and, and sisters. This is, this is the time. You understand? This is the time. So... They're, not, they're probably not going to play the rest of it. They probably played it in other, in other zones, so forth and so on. And we're going to have to search out that clip. If you got that clip, if you can get that clip, upload that clip, link I and I, let us know you got that clip, the clip where it shows what Whitney Houston's future plans were. The future plans were spiritual. She had an intuition. This is why the last song they said she sung was Jesus Loves Me. You know the song, Jesus Loves Me, This I Know, For the 
Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. We may be weak, but he, Jehovah Jireh, is strong. Wow. That's it. They already played the clip. We, we can hear it in the next room. They already just played the clip, and, and the clip is, 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 is done. So when we're talking about this so-called, so-called, uh, we call them Lunar Nutty. You understand? Know because they're not the Illuminati. The Illuminati is the true Christ. The King of Kings is the true Illuminator. And we are the Illuminated ones. We're illuminated by the light of the truth because he is the true light. He is the true light, our black Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMoshiach. He is the true light that lighteth every man that comes into this world. And our witness is the King of Kings. It's Kedemawi Haile Selassie, I and I, God, Father, and King of Kings. Brothers and sisters, watch and pray. That's the word right now. So stay tuned. More to come, y'all willing. Shalom. Rastafari.